Ich gehöre längst nicht mehr zur Welt der Sterblichen. Ich fürchte hier nichts von niemand. Willst du wissen, wer ich bin? Ich bin Vegeta! Guys, it's me Shockwave King. And I'm back once again. And you saw the title of the video. What is Epo's true intent? And sure, I did quick, this, quickly mention this in my chapter 13, 16 video. But I never did uh, go too in depth about the future ramifications of Epo's and his intent for this uh, entire thing. Because in, 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 in 1316, seeing Epo's shadow box, seeing Epo directly tell the coach that anything is possible. When before Epo was making up excuses, and before Epo didn't know what he lost, and then he knew what he lost, and it's just like, at this point, like I said in the video, it is time. It is time for Epo to return. And some people be like, oh, it's about time, I waited mean, for Epo this car. How'd you Epo? Like I've said before, it's called First Step. How does the Epo translate the First Step? It's not like Dragon Ball. It's not like anything else. It translates the First Step. And it's just, sure, is it a long time coming? Yeah, but it's just, uh, I enjoyed the ride here. here. I enjoyed Hajime no more. I've enjoyed the training with Epo. I, I, I've enjoyed all of it. And it's just, it's been a fun ride. And sure, it's been a long time. I'm sure some people feared this and some people stopped watching it. But I, I've been here ever since and it just, I've been loving the ride. So, on to the main point. Epo's true intent, I do believe in some form of way that Epo won't hop immediately back into the gym. But I do believe that basically in a certain way, and the coach can feel it inside his own heart. I was rereading some chapters, it's just like, the coach Koagama is a monster now. I don't care what anybody says. He's no longer a human being. He is subhuman. Because with him training the logs, and like, Nokota's just like, you're not even human no more. And it's just like, Nokota used to be a beast with wild instinct. And even he recognized that coach Koagama is no longer human. While he was training the, the contained Epo's Dimchiro, even he recognized with all his wild instincts, no matter how old you are, that Kuwagama at the age of 80 years, 80 plus years old, his his fuel is still burning hot. His 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 blood is still boiling to the maximum after all this time. And it's just it's about time. But uh the first Epo attempt, I do believe that when Epo like in the next like chapter 17, since there is a breakneck week. In 18 and 19, we will see an increase of Epo being deeply involved with the training of Teihei and Kintaru. And we will finally get to see how they'll be able to train. Some might say, oh, that's not really too much enough. No, it's the first step. As in, Epo actually be going into the ring and showing them how to throw punches. And, then, and even to the point that this is potentially, in the next 30 chapters of the show, potentially, we can actually have Epo hop into the ring to spar with Teihei or Kintaru. Which would be massive, massive. Whether it's just sparring or not, we haven't seen Epo in the ring in decades. And if you were to actually do this, the ramifications alone of just, and not including the fact, how would Kumi react to him? Oh, you know, you know, uh, with, with Tay and Kataru. No, no, maybe it'd be it by accident with Tay and Kataru just like, oh, you know, Master was amazing with sparring. He was trying not to do all this punch. He's just like, sparring? What? Why? He's, he's, he's punching. He's just like, he's like, touch how that's nothing serious. He's trying to contain that demon, that, that Tokyo demon. I'm sorry, she got the same blood as the Grim Reaper. She's a deaf woman. She is a mad woman. Mad. <laughs> uh, mad woman. But uh, the ramifications of this is, is so large. It's just a fact that Epo very soon will not immediately hop into the ring. And no, it's not going to be like a new Dimtro type thing. But it's just, you get to see more and more hints of Epo potentially returning to the ring. And that's where we get the full saying of what Epo returned to the ring. And it's just be like, now you got to deal with what his mother thinks and what Kumi thinks. And it's just, we already know that Nanako's down for the ride. And uh, Akiwa, the the, uh, the mystery seventh woman, a part of the uh, the love scepter guy. Now it's just 
of course there has to be a new challenger that challenged Kumi. Why wouldn't there be? Why? You can't just have Kumi winning the Makanuchi Wars. Mari has temporarily hopped out of the war. We can't leave her all by herself. Nanako can't take on Kumi by herself. That's not happening. Kumi's too much of a monster. She has demon blood. It doesn't matter if Nanako had <laughs> genius blood. She has demon blood. The Grim Reaper, that's, that's different. He is the death god of Japan. It's not comparable. Even Sindo knows what Mishima got. So it's just like... So many things can happen in these next few chapters. But it's just... Epo's intent is just like... Epo's... He's just like... I'm, knowing, I'm pretty sure he's knowingly. He's, he's getting the, his blood boiling once again. Once again, it's just it's boiling seeing that match between the Sindo and Gonzalez. How Sindo's gonna win? How Sindo gonna just even Epo saying himself? If he just start throwing out punches randomly, it started uh, as better than the base slightly. Even if it just hit his uh, elbows and his shoulders, eventually he opened up for attack and allowed Epo to get in there and destroy him. Like like seriously, Epo's he's just like he's primed to get back into the ring. And he knows it, secretly in the back of his mind, developing, is festering. The thought of him returning to the ring is there, not just with sparring. It always starts with sparring. And like, it'd be like, oh, no, Epo looking pretty good. It'd be just like when everybody saw Epo train with the mitts. With the uh, Coast Core gum and Epo, and Coast Core gum was like, he's grown. It could be just like the good old days. Hey, kid, here, show them how it's done. It just. <laughs> It's like, it's like, look, it's like even Kimura's points out his body is not normal for a person who's retired. Some get fat, mate. Some might lose their ab partially. But it's like Epo is still like in prime condition. And besides from being ring rusty, he's ready to go. He's still trained every day. He haven't dropped that sludge hammer. Not not Makanuchi. Not in the minis. Now including the fact he's still working at the fishing boat and it just. I'm really excited for these next few chapters, but I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm really excited because it's just like Epo get the return. Sadly, this is the end of Hydro. No, that's the, that's the, I, I want the end yet. I just because like we haven't finished it with the Hydro no Kimura and like the Hydro no Miata. We gotta find out what happened with Miata and wrap that entire thing up because potentially if Miata moves up to a weight class and Epo's return, we can still have that fight because Epo can potentially gain a few pounds, pick up some muscle, and then it'd be Miata versus Epo to show down. Now, I don't know what they'll be fighting for, but a match is a match, Billy. I paid for that. I, like I said, with the Cinder versus Gonzalez and the potential Misha versus Vork, I, I put that on. I, I pay good money for that. I, I, I pay good money for that pay per view and everything. So it's just, there's so many ramifications, there's so many things with Epo returning, hints over here, hints over there, and it's just, I just can't wait to see how it turns out. So let me know you, what you guys think Epo and Ten is, because in my opinion, the whole thing that spurred this on with the end chapter message, before we even told us about the break next, we just like, it's the student true intent hiding under the mask and well. I'm telling you, after that fight, Epo was not the same no more. He was already changing. He was already mutated. But the Mexico trip was the final thing. That trip, that's the thing. Now, cool in the fact, why would Epo constantly think 100 times in his head about fighting Ricardo? It's not just about of how he would do. It's the fact that he got the whole Billy McCullum situation wrong. And he said that Ricardo Martinez could lose. Meaning, with Ricardo Martinez dominantly winning, do you know what that means to Epo? Is the reason it's not just a Cinder versus Gonzalez fight why he said, oh, anything's possible. Seeing the domination of Ricardo Martinez has relit the fire within Epo to the point where he believes that no matter wh how strong you are, how weak you are, if you have enough will, grit, and determination, that anything, just like with Cena versus Gonzalez, anything, just like Ricardo versus Billy McCullum, is possible. And that is massive. Massive. Massive ramifications. And it's just, I think I love this stuff too much, man. 
That's nigga gonna love this stuff, Team Lynch. But it's just, it'd be a booming shockwave king. I want to know you guys' thought, thoughts about what is Epo true intent. Do you believe that we just arrived right around the corner from seeing Epo return to the ring officially and seeing how Kumi react to it, seeing how he will f further train Tehei when it turns into like an Itagake and Hammer Nows type situation with Yamada where he's just like he's he's fighting and also training them or would it be something totally different? How do you believe these re next few chapters will turn out? Because I believe that from this point on, Epo, there's no question of what, it, it's no longer a question of when. In my opinion, there was no longer a question of when Epo returned. Now it's just a question of what chapter. What chapter will Makuno Uchi return in? And that's what it comes down to, in my opinion. What chapter? Because, like, there's nothing stopping him. There's almost nothing stopping Epo now. But stopping that whole Kumi thing, which I already made a video about of how she could react, there's, like, pretty much nothing stopping him. Nothing. Like, Epo's mother just, like, told Kumi, just like, you know, I, I just feel like a, a like a brand new adventure start, like, chapters earlier. And not cool, if, there's no guarantee that Epo ended up with Kumi in the end anyway, since you've got the new challenger. Maybe Kumi will f fend off this this next vicious opponent who's come back from Epo's past, uh, try to take away the Monk Because there's no way she shows up for one chapter. There's, there's a split chance, since so I don't think it has rained recently in Hydro Epo. There could be a split chance that that number is still there at the tree. It's, it's possible. It is possible. Or maybe, just maybe, this entire time it was an Epo jacket pocket and you forgot about it. Who knows? Who knows? All I know is, just like Coach Koragama seeing the return of Epo, things are about to get busy in the gym again. <sighs> and it'd be back to the good old days of Koragama 5 until they break up. I would still say RRP or Yoki's career because he will be the first to leave. I'll be about me shop at King. I don't know you guys' thoughts about the the potential of Epo leaving the gym. The, the, the potential of Epo returning the gym in the next few chapters and what you guys think about it. I believe it's right around the corner. I believe that it's going to happen soon. Even if it's just sparring, Epo would slowly return to the way he was. And I don't believe in the first fight we can see the Dimshiro, but boy, when the first time he goes up to hitting a punching bag, RRP to Bakuku, RRP, cause that fool's gonna die. I think Epo's gonna bust the bag. Cause like that, the way he knocked that glove, knocked out the glove, the, uh, the mitt from Sendo's hand, that's too much power. That's too much power. So it's just, I want to give you guys things, uh, thoughts about Epo's true intent with this entire, uh, Entire Mexico trip because he learned something more than he's telling God. Well, he told Coach Gorgama and that hint with him throwing the shadow boxing. We haven't seen everything, boys and girls. We have not seen everything. It'd be booming Shockwave King. I know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, it'd be booming Shockwave King. And uh, peace.